Hey everybody, welcome to the Salty Yak. Today, I have my top five kayak fishing hacks for you today. Number five, my uh, little hack on this one is the little uh, sun visors that, they use, that the construction road crews use. You take this, it's already got an elastic band in it. I take it and I use it for the tail or my, my warning flag on the end of my kayak. Got a 14 foot kayak, it hangs out, I need that. But I also use it for a flag when I'm out in the marsh. So the PVC pipe, I just zip tied it to, to there. These things are like four bucks. It's got a reflective strip in it. You can see it from a mile away. And uh, you've got a nice flag that I can put on your kayak. I put the little foam insulation on the end so it fits in my rod holders that are on my egg crate. And as a bonus, another little flag you can use your PVC pipe in that same styrofoam insulation and make you a favorite flag for whatever uh, you want to support when you're out there on the water. Number four, vinegar window cleaner. So I use this on my fishing reels, my fishing rods. When I get back, spray from the top all the way from the very tip, hit every eye, and then give the, the reel a little spritz. Let it set while I'm cleaning up my kayak then give a nice little wash, gentle wash. And uh, this stuff gets rid of, it helps dissolve the salt that's already on, that's on your rod and reels when we're fishing salt water. You don't have to buy the name brand. Bigger old brand will work just fine. Vinegar based window cleaner. Number three, my Bucky's back. So this is a cheap insulated, cooler, soft sided cooler that we pick up here in Bucky's for 20 bucks. So I can throw 10 pounds of ice in this. I can uh, put my fish in this. It'll hold slot redfish, trout, flounder, hold all of it. And they stay cool. Some of the places that we fish down here on the coast, you gotta worry about sharks. You put them in this, you don't have to worry about it. And 10 pounds of ice, bleed your fish before you put them in it, does really, really well. At the end of the season, it starts getting a little cruddy, a little crappy. I've had this one now for probably six or eight months. No problem. Cleaned out really good. But if it does get a little bad, 20 bucks, get you a new one. You're not having to pay hundreds of bucks for those soft-sided coolers you carry on your kayak. Number two, Nalgene water bottle. So uh, shout out to Chris Lopez for uh, shooting me this idea that I've adopted. So I fill my Nalgene up with water. The night before, I freeze it solid, and then I take it on my kayak with me. I put it in my cooler, take it out of my cooler, and let it start thawing here on the uh, the Texas coast. It's it really hot, and, and so it'll thaw out. And then I just take that water as I'm drinking it. If I'm not ready to drink it, I will uh, put it in my thermos, and that way I have cool water to drink all day. Frozen, if it's not that cold, just put it in the Nalgene bottle. Saves on the uh, the plastic that we put out there in the environment. Number one, stakeout pole. Now, you can buy a pre-made one, or you can go to the high end and buy the automatic one, but this is my favorite. Piece of three and a quarter inch Schedule 80 PVC pipe 
On the end of it, I cut a 45. On the other end of it, I put a T-handle. And in the middle, or sliding up and down it, I have a, a bungee that I get off of Amazon. It comes with a D-ring, or a little carabiner. That carabiner, I just clipped my anchor trolley. I'm able to stick this in the mud. It go through the oyster. It gives me a nice, solid anchor point when I'm fishing. Thank you all for tuning in. I hope you got something from it.